Good day, Relentless Mentors. My task today is to present the admission and retention policy of the College of Education Gatekeeping for Competence and Excellence. Why we are strictly implementing the admission and retention policy here at the co-ed of CPU Argao. There are three main reasons. One, you are currently enrolled in a board program which means that after complying the minimum requirements set forth by, by your respective degree programs, such as the Bachelor of Elementary Education major in um, content education per CMO number 74 series of 2017, the Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Mathematics per CMO number 75 series of 2017, and the Bachelor of Technology and Livelihood Education major in Home Economics per CMO number 78 series of 2017, you will have um, this opportunity of taking a board examination called the BLEPT or the Board Licensure Examination for Professional Teachers to be administered by the Professional Regulation Commission. And as the College of Education believes that this is a very good starting point of getting the best students who will later be contributing to the passing percentage of the College of Education here at City or Gao. The second is we would like to maintain and sustain a remarkable passing percentages for PE Ed, BS Ed Math, and BTL Ed in the board licensure examination for professional teachers um, because the College of Education is one of the top performing schools um, for teacher education training in the whole country. And we'd like to get that um, position back no, for, um, for the next years to come. That is why we would, we would like to sustain a very good um, passing percentage for the three um, degree programs. The third is we would like to produce quality teacher education graduates who will be uh, who will later become assets in the respective stations in the Department of Education. That is, and these are the reasons why we are strictly implementing the admission and retention policy in the College of Education. Here are the guidelines and policy on selection, admission of applicants and retention of qualified students in the College of Education. How are you admitted in the College of Education? The admission to Cebu Technological University Argao Campus College of Education or co-ed is a privilege. The college therefore has the right to refuse admission to applicants if it does not uh, if you are not qualified based on the documentary requirements submitted via admission portal. Therefore, we have the right to refuse admission or to require the withdrawal of the students when it deems their presence among the student body is inimical to the vision mission of the university and the goals of the campus and the outcomes of the program or to the observance of the regulations. Applicants who in the evaluation of the screening committee are qualified to profit from the educational program of the college are admitted to CTU Argao, College of Education or Co-ed. In determining the admission of the applicants, consideration shall be given to past scholastic records. That is why we need to have your senior high school report card for fresh senior high school graduates or your um, rating slip of or the TUR of your last school attended for transferees because we need that for evaluation. Present scholastic aptitude or your result of the online admission examination, character recommendations, as well as the applicant's acceptance of the vision mission statement and all policies, procedures, rules, and regulations of the college. New students or transferees, um, any interested applicant? No? You were you were once interested applicant to, uh, to the teacher education programs before you were admitted, and you were considered to be morally upright, physically and mentally healthy because you are already here in the College of Education. You submitted the following documents, your Form 138 or high school report card of ratings to graduates with general weighted average of 85 or higher, as well as individual ratings for all subjects from first grading to fourth grading peers must be at least 85. Or else, kung na'y below 85, then you are disqualified to take the College of Education. 
transfer credentials or TOR and honorable dismissal for transferees, certification of good moral character. No? And additional requirements during the enrollment phase, we have the birth certificate from the Philippine Statistics Office or the PSA. You are to give one photocopy for the register and one photocopy for the department's documentation. Marriage certificate if married, one long size brown envelope within that um, plastic no? envelope. And then two pieces, two by two resin ID colored picture with white background and preferably with name tag. And these were given in or put in the in the drop box near the guardhouse no, prior to the enrollment. The medical certificate from the government physician with laboratory results are waived by the campus nurse because we are still in the quarantine status. We're still in the time of pandemic. You uploaded these required documents via admission portal, no? and you also filled up the registration form for teacher education admission test um, schedule. Once you are qualified to take the online examination, you received no, an email notification containing the date of the exam schedule via online. You took the online exam as scheduled, no? and the instruments for the College of Education admission test are actually teacher made because there is no online based um, standardized examination for admission. So, um, after which, once you um, are qualified in the online admission exam based on the result given or generated, you were scheduled for panel interview. No? And the panel interview is composed of three to five core faculty members of the College of Education with the Dean of the College of Education and Program Chairpersons. The screening result is computed as follows. Your 10% for your grade point average of your high school um, ratings or um, the TOR for transfer is 60% for the online admission test result and 20% during the panel interview and 10% personality which was rated during the panel interview. An applicant must get at least a total of 70 points to qualify for enrollment, which means that because you are already admitted in the College of Education, you have gained 70 or more than 70 points. Congratulations. The screening committee is composed of three to five core faculty members of the College of Education. Once qualified, um, you enrolled no, via online. So the enrollment is still um, online. So we have the online admission portal and we also have the online enrollment portal because there is no face-to-face -face or physical um, transaction for admission and uh, for um, enrollment. Retention is another aspect that you need to understand. The retention policy of the College of Education is per approved Board of Regents Resolution Number 80, Series of 2019. How are you monitored? The general scholastic weighted average for the two semesters in an academic year shall be 80.0 or 2.5 or higher. The individual final ratings for each of the English, Science, and Mathematics and each of the areas of the spe specialization courses in any semester shall also be 80.0 or 2.5 or higher. The evaluation of ratings shall be by semester by the authorized CTU officials, such as the co-ed chairperson with those having problems in their ratings during the first semester be accordingly informed by the respective chairpersons. Your attention will be called up. There will be a virtual or online um, academic counseling to be administered by the class advisor with the program chairperson. The weighted average of the two terms after the second semester and the individual final ratings of 80.0 or higher for each of the English, Science, and Mathematics and each of the areas of specialization courses in every semester shall be the basis whether or not a qualified college in entrant or student is to be retained by the next academic year in the license granting or board degree curricular programs for which he or she qualified for at the start of the entrance academic year. So if you will get below 2.5 or 80 for that particular semester, so your attention will be called up and there will be the conduct of virtual or online academic counseling. Um, first time. During the second time, okay, that would be another warning. And then if it's third time, there will be the presence of your parents in the virtual academic counseling 
for um, homeschool link strategy and for decision. The retention policy based on the general scholastic weighted average for the two semesters in an academic year being 80.0 or 2.5 or higher and their individual final ratings for each of the English, science and mathematics and each of the areas of specialization courses in any semester being 80.0 or 2.5 or higher also shall be implemented after the first academic year that is second year until the penultimate academic year third for four-year license granting or board degree curricular programs, or fourth year for five-year license granting or board degree curricular programs. Students who may be disqualified for re-entry to the next higher academic year level in a qualified for license granting or board degree curricular program may choose to continue studying at CITU in the same license granting or board degree curricular program for as long as he or she is willing to re-enroll and met the required weighted average of the two terms and the individual final ratings of 80.0 or 2.5 or higher for each of the English, science, and mathematics and each of the areas of specialization courses in any semester or transfer to a non-license granting or non-board degree curricular program at CTU or to any other higher education institution of one's choice. So you must maintain ethical standards at all times as prospective teachers in and out of the university campus because you are would-be professional teachers. Therefore, you have to maintain um, the ethical standards set forth for teacher education students and for would-be professional teachers inside the campus and even outside the campus or when you are in your barangay or community. You must self-integrate the good teaching values and live up to the expectations of the teaching professions. You are considered to be good examples or you have to be good exemplars in your community, in your barangay, and you have to be active participant in all activities of your barangays or of your community because this is a good training ground for you to become dynamic professional teachers in the future. So the readmission and retention policy for our rejoining students or returnees. Students who did not enroll for a year or more should first write a formal letter to the College of Education expressing their intentions to resume their studies. The letter signed by both the student and the parents or guardians or husband or wife must indicate the reason of their absence and when they last enrolled and also a statement of what they had been doing during such period. These documents will be referred to the Dean of the College of Education in consultation with the Academic Council of the College of Education. A, de a decision then is given according to the merit of the request. The College of Education, being gatekeepers for competence and excellence, would keep track to your academic performance and to your non-academic uh, non experience inside the campus and even outside the community because we believe that we have to produce quality teacher education graduates who will become assets in the respective stations in the Department of Education. Thank you so much, everyone. And ang pag-ampo, pag-amping, umpadayon sa pagsunod sa minimum health standards set by the IATF. God bless.